I won some hand dyed yarn this weekend. Was just chilling on the Whatnot app. There were a couple of lives that I wanted to get into. So I bookmarked it, got in, loved the chit chat, and at the end of it, won some freaking yarn. This artist in particular, is, let me pull it up, Megs and Co on Whatnot app on Insta, Megs and Co underscore yarn on Insta. I already said Insta, right? There was a bunch of really gorgeous sets and they were all minis. So there was one that I was looking into, I think that drew my attention. This set was called The Spice Set. I was like, okay, absolutely. And another one, because it's just freaking fun and reminded me of Killer Clowns, neon yarn. Like, look at that green, the yellows, the pinks. Okay, yeah, the pink and blue together, total cotton candy vibes. We were all just sitting chit-chatting and I loved the backstory. Like, that's the thing that I love about this the most is it's essentially like going into a local yarn shop. You get to chit chat with the human behind the creation of this yarn, as well as purchasing some yarn too. So anyways, let's see what we got. The packaging in and of itself, adorable. Beautiful, uh, okay. Meg's classic sock minis. Honestly, when they pulled my name and was like, oh, that's congratulations, you have this. I was just so excited. I did not even remember what the colors were. So I did end up getting a little minty green one here. Mint chocolate chip is my favorite all time ice cream. That's kind of what it reminds me of. So sock kit, 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon. 92 yards and 20 grams per hank of yarn. There is also a sticker and you know that I love stickers. So that's gonna go right onto my yarn cart, of which is still clean. That has to be a record for me too because I've been like moving everything around and it still remained clean. I also have some passion fruit tea. That is my obsession as soon as it gets a little bit warmer. This purple, okay. I feel like I have to make socks with these, with like all of the colors. Ooh, okay, so let's do that instead of pulling one out at a time. Let's see what they would look like. I top stripey sock. Okay, I kind of love that. You know what? This would go perfect with my Alice in Wonderland skirt that I just got. Oh, make like leg warmers. Cause I already have socks to go with that, but I can make leg warmers or maybe a fingerless mitt with it, especially since it has the nylon in it. So it's gonna be a little bit stretchy. I do like using this type of yarn for fingerless mitts. Okay, now we have too many options, but it's so incredibly soft. And the color, I can't get over how vibrant this color is. Out of all of these, though I love them all, this one for sure. The intensity, the cotton candy vibes. There were also a couple of cards, hand-dyed yarn fiber, scanned there to join the email list. Love when they do that, nice and easy. Let's just go ahead and do that right this second. I did mention as we were chit-chatting for an hour that since this was just their first show, there's more to come. Like more yarn, more combinations. And I really love that too. Like as much as I love purchasing one skein at a time, there's something about baby hanks and like putting them all together in a kit. Subscribe to newsletter, there's a discord, shop the fiber. They also have a YouTube channel and there's one video that comes up immediately showing how they dye yarn. I could watch people dye yarn for hours on end, so I'm definitely gonna save like and bookmark this one to go back. It's about 40 minutes too. Oh, and there's like a variety of colors. So if you like watching people dye yarn like I do, check that out. Sadly, I do not have everything out in the yarn dungeon yet. So my Swift and my yarn winder still boxed away somewhere. I guess I could go ahead and do this by hand. Oh my gosh, that would just take forever. It's been a long time since I've done that. I just, I love my Swift, it's so easy. Even with like the baby ones, like it's just such a time saver. So I think I am gonna wait, but I will make that like top of my list of priorities today. Find my Swift and my yarn binder. Like where are they? I need to cake up some yarn. 
But until then, okay, what do we think they should be? I've already thrown out a couple of ideas. So, I mean, it's a sock set. It's meant to be a sock, and I would be very happy to have a pair of high top socks from these. I don't even think I'd do like the crew cut. I think I'd make them high top because it would just like let these colors breathe a little bit and have some space. Leg warmers would look really cool though if I did like a mesh stitch. So summertime leg warmers. I don't know, but anyways, like I said, Shout it out, what direction do we think? Cause I have some time until I find everything tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna find it tonight. I'm gonna put like, that's my list. What am I doing tonight? Finding my Swift. My very first ever live on the Whatnot app is happening this Friday, just in case you missed out on that video and you had no idea that I'm de-stashing the yarn dungeon. Most of the yarn is up, but there may be a couple of extra stitch markers that go tonight that I add onto the shop. So right here you can see just some of the yarn that I have up already and the pricing next to it. Let me grab the stitch markers that I'm so excited about though. I have quite a few Nightmare Before Christmas themed stitch markers. These I made a complete set for myself and then I had some extras. So I'm like, yes, let's share these. They have their own little cute bag to go in. Lock, shock, and barrel, I think probably my favorite characters. So to make them into stitch markers was a must for me, but these three go together. So you'll see that on there. These three are one purchase, Oogie Boogie and Zero go together. And then obviously Jack and Sally. They can't be separated, so they must be together, but they have their own little bag. Oh, and then my Gothic Glam stitch markers, which these are really, really light. Obviously, kind of chunky stitch markers. I do use them for making socks and everything though, because I just like the theme. Stitch marker matches the project that I'm working on, like I'm just gonna use them. But these ones, if you're looking for lighter weight type of stitch markers, but still Halloween spooky fun. The Nightmare Before Christmas ones have the Lobster Class, which are my favorites. And I have the really, really big size too. So I think it'll go over bulky yarn, but not blankets. Like that'll be almost a little bit too big for these stitch markers. These ones, you can fit it over really chunky yarn. I've been using them right now for some of my blankets that I have going, which I feel like you'll be very proud of me. I have completed two out of the five blankets that I have going at this moment. So I only have three on crochet hooks this moment, which is pretty impressive because for a while there, I honestly didn't know if I was gonna get through all of the blankets. They weren't even designed for anyone in particular. I just have been going through a blanket making moment, I guess, or era. Like this is my blanket making era because I'm, I'm not sick of it. Like I would like to create another one. I almost did last night. I was like, you know what? And then I immediately stopped myself. I was like, no, Kayla, calm down. You have five blankets. Let's finish a couple. So I did. And now I feel like I can go back and start the one that I wanted to. This one is probably my favorite stitch marker that I need to finish still. It's the mayor character and the head twists around and it has like a little gem for its eye. You have the little spider pendant too. It's just so freaking cute. It's also kind of like a fidget stitch marker. Are those a thing? If not, they definitely should be. If you haven't checked this place out yet, you have potential for some really cool yarn giveaways, especially since it's so new right now for the fiber world. Like they've just recently added this category. All of the hand dyed yarn artists are just starting to find it. Head over there if you haven't yet, bookmark some lives, obviously bookmark mine, come hang out with me on Friday, chit chat, even if you're not there for the yarn, just come hang out with me, have a little bit of a chat. I'll obviously have some coffee. But anyways, that is it for me today. I just wanted to show this amazing giveaway that I won. I hope that you have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.